Ready for a new style? Call Double A Salon in Wheeler Springs Plaza, 775-764-1898. Concentration, the amount of nicotine that you can find in a, um, uh, in a, in a vape can be very high. And sometimes people may, may not be aware of that because the devices can be very small. So they don't appear to be a lot, but the concentration can be high. So sometimes a one small a vaping device can contain as much or sometimes even more nicotine than a full pack of cigarettes. Dr. Humberto Choi is a pulmonologist at Cleveland Clinic. He says many teens still choose to vape and a nicotine addiction can affect their brain development. When it comes to the lungs, vaping can cause inflammation and irritation, which can lead to lung damage. It can also make asthma or any other existing lung problems worse. Dr. Choi says the e-liquid or vape juice people are inhaling may contain cancer-causing chemicals and other substances linked to lung and heart disease. The long-term health impacts of vaping are still being studied. Something that we still don't know um, is whether someone can have a, a long-term uh, effect of vaping, and that's mainly uh, if someone going to develop cancer, for example, or uh, a chronic lung disease or uh, a heart disease from that. It is what we see with um, uh, regular cigarettes that after years of use, someone can de can develop those uh, heart, lung uh, problems and, and cancer. But this is a, this is an unknown for electronic cigarettes.